talking to Bohan and guitars and ukuleles. Uh, today I'm doing a sound sample of guitar number 81 or instrument number 81. Uh, this is a full-size classical guitar and it has German spruce on the top, Zero Cody on the back and sides. It has a Brazilian rosewood bridge a red Mali or Mali uh, rosette which I cut into kind of segments and use the red and the white areas. Uh, African blackwood fingerboard which is my standard fingerboard. Ebony binding. Uh, Zero Cody on the front of the headstock and Brazilian on the back. Slotted headstock, of course. The nut is the typical fingerboard width for a classical is 52 mils here and 62 mils at the uh, the twelfth fret. It is Spanish cedar for a neck and Irving Sloan tuners with ebony buttons and black rollers, and it also has a black tusk saddle and matching nut and evo gold frets with uh, semi hemispherical fret ends uh, and it's 650 scale with a 18 hole bridge so there is no windings around the back of the bridge doesn't really matter with uh, with you know a classical uh, hand position because it's you know like this nowhere near the back unlike a you know bluegrass picker who would be doing this but uh, I just like the the aesthetics a lot more than those ugly wines I just don't know how they've lasted for so long it's, it's basically a standard classical guitar uh, the only difference is it has a double action truss rod and so I can change the, the degree of relief to suit the guitar and the player. Uh, and the back and sides are both laminated. I don't like to use Zero Cody because it's a cracky wood, um, but I do use it if I can laminate it. So it's kind of, it's a pretty heavy guitar. I don't know, I haven't weighed it yet, but it, uh, it's definitely heavier than um, most classical guitars. It's kind of, I don't know if it's as heavy as a Greg Smallman, but probably uh, just, you know, the, the three ply sides in the back, but they give it uh, good projection and sustain. As you will see. And so, so thank you for watching, please listen to Javier and he will do this guitar justice. It's a, it's a real pleasure to have him playing my instrument. So this is off to Ken Bonfield and who was going to be using it with a pickup that I forgot to mention. <laughs> it's a Shatton pickup and it sounds really good. But uh, this is number 81, built 2020, 2021. And I am not going to be playing this sound sample. Uh, I've left that to a good friend of mine in Grand Junction, Colorado. He teaches music at the University of Colorado, or the, yeah, CMU. Uh, his name is Javier De Los Santos, and uh, he is much better than me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Javier De Los, De Los Santos. Uh, I'm playing here. Uh, both guitars, uh, the second classical guitar, this is the first full body classical guitar I'm enjoying playing it. Thank you both for allowing me, allowing me to try it. It sounds beautiful, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah. Uh, every single note is, yeah. oh, cool. is there present, clear. to play here. Yeah. to hear the connection of the 
of the voices. Mm. Yeah. And it's easy to find. Yeah. Nice job, Paul. Oh, thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. That's a really long sustain too. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like this and any other videos that I've ever done. <laughs> uh, I only make, you know, 10 or 12 instruments a year, so there's not many sound samples that you'll see. It's more like instructional Luthery stuff. So thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>